The 8th Street Bound is the backbone of Power Movement Entertainment, an independent music group fighting to be heard in the competitive world of the independent music industry. PME is a network of dedicated artists spanning California to New York. The 8th Street Band specializes in adapting independently produced music into instrumental performances, adding live flavor to studio productions. What is your name, ethnic background, and your role in power movement? My name is A Streets, the voice of power movement, drummer of the A Street Band, and I am an African American, Hispanic with Caribbean roots. As an independent musician, how do you struggle to be heard in the dominant culture of mainstream media? Well, in this dominant medium called music, it's very difficult, but at the same time, it's wide open due to the internet. Uh, unfortunately, the style and quality of music that we want to present is not what's in right now, so we're trying to just reincorporate that solid foundation with its music, uh, positive music, you know, conscious music, something that people can understand. So I'm just appreciative of being a part of a system that is motivating in a better manner than what I see the industry doing today. Sid Damage is the guitar player and co-founder of PME. I go by Sid Damage. My ethnic background is Irish, Scottish, English, a little bit of German. Um, and in power movement, you know, I'm a guitar player in the 8th Street Band. Um, Trying to do a lot, man. The businessman, everything, you know, multi-talented. As an independent musician, how do you struggle to be heard in the dominant culture of mainstream media? We're all musicians, we're all performers, um, but we also got to learn how to be businessmen, you know? We also got to learn to be promoters and marketers and all this stuff that's ne not necessarily our strengths. Um, you know, but it, the whole music industry is, is changing, you know, and, and so we got all these outlets like, you know, CD Baby, iTunes, uh, Amazon, that allow us to, to put our music out there, you know, but, you know, the struggle is we got to finance everything ourselves, so we're producers, you know, um, but it, it's really, it, it's kind of great because it gives us a chance to network and meet all these great people, build relationships with our fans, and, uh, you know, that's what it's really all about. A versatile multi-genre band, 8th Street performs live throughout Southern California with featured and freelance artists including Westwood Red, E.J. Miller, and Karaz. Uh, the, the amp is off you and the volume's up. Lionel Lass and Sid Damage have been performing together for over a decade. My name is Daniel Castillo, a.k.a. Lionel Last, and I am the bassist of Power Movement. Uh, my ethnic background is Hispanic, um, seven generations here, five when it was California and two when it was Mexico. As an independent musician, how do you struggle to be heard in the dominant culture of mainstream media? The only way you can really be heard is through um, internet, e babies, all that kind of stuff really works because you don't have to rely on a specific business entity, something that has to be established already in the hierarchy of multimedia you know, production. So we don't have to worry about a BMI or a Columbia or anything like that. We can put our stuff straight out into, uh, into the public. And we do have guests in the studio, which is awesome. I'm so excited. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi, go ahead and introduce yourself. I am. A Streets, AJ of Power Movement, ENT. I, I'm just, I'm just thankful to be here. I'm, I'm at the studio right now. A Street Band and Power Movement, our, our situation is so very unique with the variety of genres. We kind of mix with hip hop, R&B, rock, soca, neo soul, jazz, and we kind of combined it 
with a variety of different artists. Well, my name and ethnic background is Frederick Eor Pomone Woods. I go by Westwood Red. And my ethnic background, that will be African American, Puerto Rican, and Creole. You drag, you drag, you drag the, last one. the members of Power Movement represent numerous ethnic groups and are received differently based upon the appearance of the person sent to represent them. You know, I really, I really hate to have to say yes to that, but the truth of the matter is, yes. You, uh, you, could, you could go in, you could go in, and if you don't have a white face with you, you, you may not get a job. So, you know, it's, it just goes back to old society. If you're white, you're right. If you're black, get back. I mean, what can I say? I mean, <laughs> so yes, you have to have that, you have to have that, that different face, that different look. Uh, yeah, I have noticed differences. Um, you know, going into the hip hop venue, you know, I'm not the guy to go in there and, and sell it, you know. I'm the long haired guitarist, you know. Um, likewise, going into a rock place, you know, of course, yeah, I'm the front man for that, you know. I need to go in and be the guy representing there. Um, you know, and, and even within ourselves, you know, I'm, I'm dressed pretty casual right now, but going into a venue, it pays to dress yourself up you know, and go in there and, and do it from the professional side rather than, oh, I'm just a musician wearing a grubby t-shirt kind of thing. Have you ever experienced any form of discrimination? Yes, yes, but that's, that's never going to go away, so. It's, it's always like that. I say I'm doing that about maybe once, twice a week going through it. Time doesn't change, just the clocks. No, I never have, but uh, in California, having a Spanish last name is actually kind of a boon, and being able to speak a little bit of the language helps too. Have you ever been discriminated against? Have you ever had a job where you've been impeded from participating in the dominant culture or language? Mm, I wouldn't say I've been discriminated against, but in a very light manner, you always hear the light jokes, African-American jokes, or you'll hear uh, comments or questions of my stature, like uh, if they don't know my name, I'm considered 50 Cent, or uh, Jamie Foxx. I look like a particular celebrity rather than getting to know me. I wouldn't say, you know, I mean, maybe a little bit. I, I work at a college, you know, my position is... Uh, chemical safety officer and uh, you know I only have an associate's degree so dealing with people that have PhDs and stuff like that sometimes they don't necessarily respect uh, you know my level of education not understanding that I've I've had many years in this in this industry and, and in this field. Their brand is embedded in their name, Power, a positive organization with everlasting respect. I'm just happy that music is still transcending with the internet being so popular right now, everybody's still booming to quality music, you know. Independent is where it's at, and chaotic radio is in the, you know, you don't understand the hype. What is your message? The bottom line is that we have respect for each other, and we're trying to put out a positive message to the youth. That if you're in the music, you can, you can do what you want to do, and do it with some dignity and respect. And when you write something, Write something with some meaning. You see what I'm saying? Let's talk about your brand. What does power mean to you? Uh, you know, power, it, it's an acronym. It stands for Positive Organization with Everlasting Respect. And, you know, first of all, it's positive. It's all about music is, is supposed to make you feel good. It's supposed to, you know, boost you up, make you feel strong and, and empowered. Um, the organization is, is about, you know, the teamwork, the collaboration we need to, to do all those things I was talking about, be producers and everything beyond just the music. Um, and the everlasting respect, you know, that's because we all got to acknowledge where we all came from, you know, and music has always been really diverse, you know, it doesn't matter what culture you're from, what, what country you're from, um, all, the, all these places, all these people make great music. You know, and we got to respect that and we got to try and do the same thing ourselves, you know, and that, that's really, I think, our message. Our, we try and involve our, all our fans, you know, and just get everybody behind this, you know, and make music fun, make it inclusive, get everybody involved. I think that's what power is all about. Unity, strength, it means just being able to withstand the worst and still having your head high. It doesn't matter where you come from, uh, 
what kind of experience you've had, what kind of experience you haven't had. It's not about what you were, it's about what you are and what you want to be. And as long as you stay positive, stay organized, and remember to respect each other, I think anything can happen. We can do pretty much anything. <laughs> Same moms that they sold us in, waking to sleep a giant and roll with their different times. Same moms that they sold us in, waking to sleep a giant and roll with their different times.